crazy tubers i hope you all had a very merry christmas today we are doing a cage tour we had a few snowstorms in christmas past so i was feeling pretty inspired let's begin with the decorations on top of the cage we've got these blocks here that spell noel uh, they're from their chew toys, but unfortunately I don't have the kebab anymore. We've got a couple ornaments and this amazing snow globe that I found last year during Christmas season. I've also got hearts in the background because I just love those pixelated hearts I made. In the corner, I had this giant ornament and I thought, why not and put it there? I've also got these ornaments zip tied to the grids on the very top. I just thought it added that extra Christmassy touch. Along with the front of the cage, I've got this green and red garland that I just absolutely love. Inside of their little home, I made the whole back a huge pile of hay. My little potatoes love playing in it, eating in it. They just love the piles. Um, in the front, I've got the snow on the top and a bunch of toys because, of course, Santa came to visit and left a few little goodies behind. The girls got a bunch of these awesome little chewable puzzle pieces, some apple sticks, some weights because, you know, gotta work out sometimes. <laughs> There's also a bunch of white fluffy snow bedding across the top of their regular wood bedding, and some stars here that are perfectly edible, chewable, completely safe for the girls. I'm pretty sure the girl's favorite part of this cage theme is that massive pile of hay draped across the back of their cage. As you can see here, Argo is just having a feast with it. Now I hope you all had a Merry Christmas and I will hopefully see you all next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more content.